difference between a pool and a swim spa, there's a massive difference between the pool and the swim spa. I've owned a pool, I now own a swim spa, I owned a pool for 12 years. I mean, I think first and foremost, um, one of the things that I always say is that when you own a pool, it actually owns you because of the amount of maintenance they have to, they have to do on a uh, swimming pool. It's incredible. The amount of vacuuming, the amount of skimming, cleaning your filter, cleaning your skimming basket. Nice thing about the swim spa or hydropool swim spa, it's the only swim spa that's self-cleaning in the entire world. So basically all that pain and angst that you have when you skim your uh, pool and you, uh, and you vacuum your pool, with a swim spot, it cleans the surface automatically and it cleans the bottom automatically with a floor vacuum. The second thing is, 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 is the, the amount of season that you'll get out of a swimming pool versus a swim spa. Swim spa you can use 365 days a year versus a swimming pool. You know what, if I could get three to four months out of it, you know, solid, I'd be very, very happy. You know, I owned a swim spot, sorry, a swimming pool for 12 years. And, and I maybe got three months out of the swimming pools. Whereas my swim spa, I've got it running all year long. That's the main difference between the two. The swim experience between a swimming pool and a swim spa is night and day. There's diametric differences between the two. Um, I love to swim. I, I, I swim, you know, for 12 years I swam lengths in my pool. The problem was, was in my pool, I would have to do three to four strokes and then by the end, I'd be flipping, turning, and you know, gliding at three to four strokes. With a swim spa, I don't get that chance to flip and turn. You're consistently swimming against the current. So basically, to do one mile in my swimming pool, it took me 60 to 80 laps to do one mile and turn 60 to 80 times. I never have to turn in my swim spa. It's a straight swim. It's unforgiving. You basically have no time to rest, so it's a fantastic machine for any type of swimmer. The difference between a swim spa and a swimming pool in versatility is, is huge. With a swimming pool, you will get some of the fun aspects like doing cannibals, diving, that you might not get with a swim spa. But with a swim spa, it opens up a whole new world of poss possibilities. Basically, a swim spa is a pool, a gym, a hot tub, a wave pool. Basically, it's a full aquatic center in your backyard. Whether the kids want to swim, whether they want, whether the adults want to relax, sit back in the hot tub site, get a massage, whether the kids want to have a wave pool, whether they, uh, the parents want to exercise, it gives you everything in one singular unit as opposed to a pool, which is basically good for cannonballs. A swim spa can be used all year round, 365 days a year. The beauty of the swim spa is that it is fully insulated underneath. Basically, it traps the waste heat of the motor and regenerates that waste heat. So it really costs you not a lot of money to use it all year round, as opposed to a pool where you're probably only use it any, you know, anywhere from three to four months of the year. The difference between a pool, a swimming pool, and a, an, at least an in-ground swimming pool and a, and a swim spa, the installation and the cost and the time is, is, is huge. The difference is huge. Basically with a swimming pool, it's going to take you anywhere from two weeks to four weeks to put a swimming pool in. Um, and that's if the weather is good. Versus a swim spa, which I can have in your backyard up and running in three days. The other difference is the cost of the installation. Generally speaking, an in-ground pool will cost you anywhere from $45,000 to $100,000 depending on the installation. Whereas a swim spa, we can get into your backyard for as little as $22,000 and it can go from $22,000 up to $50,000. So basically, you're spending half the money on a swim spa for the installation and over three quarters the amount of time to install a swim spa than you would be with a pool. The difference between a safety cover on a swim spa and the safety cover on a swimming pool is night and day. A swimming pool cover can cost you for a safety cover can cost you anywhere between three to five thousand dollars. And quite honestly, they're a pain in the butt to try and get on and off. With a swim spa, you can lock that cover down at any time you want. You can put it on in about four to five minutes. And the nice thing is it locks down perfectly. And finally, it is only worth probably, depending on the size of the swim spa, between $1,200 to $2,000. So overall, you're looking at about 
half, if not three quarters, the cost of a, of a cover for a swim spa versus a pool. The difference between the heating costs on a swim spa and a swimming pool is again night and day. Um, I can speak from experience on a, on a swimming pool that, you know, uh, on the cold spring days or cold fall days, I basically just saw money, you know, kind of escaping from the top of the swimming pool because it was so hard to put the safety cover on and off. Um, with a swim spa, at least the hydropool swim spa, it, there's a couple of things that make it very, very, I'm sorry, very, very efficient to run. Uh, one of which is traps the waste heat of the motors inside the cabinet, reutilizes that waste heat, um, kind of like a, um, a convection oven. So in the summer times, you're, 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 you're probably never going to have to use the heater to actually heat the swim spa. The other thing is, is that you know, every swim spa should come with an insulated hard cover, or at least you should get an insulated hard cover on every swim spa. What that does is it traps the waste heat coming off of the water, and that's where you're going to lose most of your heat on a, on, on a swimming pool, is off the surface area. With a swim spa, a hard cover goes on just like a hot tub, and it traps that waste heat. So they're very, very efficient in comparison to a swimming pool. The difference in maintenance costs between a swim spa and a swimming pool is huge. Um, you know, me personally, having owned a swimming pool for 12 years, uh, I know that I, you know, I consistently spent time skimming the surface. I consistently spent time vacuuming. I invested in a $2,000 robotic cleaner that, you know, broke down once every three months, it seemed. Um, with a swim spa, especially the Hydropool swim spa, it's the only self-cleaning swim spa in the world. So, you know what, we try on a Hydropool swim spa to create more time for family and friends and you know, create less time cleaning. The key to the Hydropool swim spa is dirt can only do two things. One, stay on the surface or drop to the bottom. We clean the surface with our filtration jets on the top and we clean the bottom with our built-in floor vacuum all proprietary to the Hydropool self-cleaning swim spa. So the difference between a swimming pool liner and a swim spa shell is the swim spa shell should really last you for life. Um, as opposed to a swimming pool liner, and I can speak from experience, after 10 years we had to replace ours, and replacing a liner is not inexpensive. It is between six to $8,000 to replace a liner on pretty much any pool out there. So the nice thing is with a swim spa, you virtually will never have to replace your shell. On a liner pool, you're looking at anywhere from 10 to 15 years, every 10 to 15 years, changing your life.